What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen, how to cook. And today we're making oven baked barbecue jerk chicken. In the kitchen, fast, easy and simple. Make sure you subscribe if you have not and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any of these upload. And for all of my returning goodies, on a done no seven oven or on a ready for cook, come on, let's cook. Look what prayer can do. Hypocrite and bad mind must rule. The same mouth will cheer for you. And the same one them will turn round and boo. Yeah. Pray me I use and win. Pray me I use and win. Okay, goodies. So, I'm just going to show you all the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make this barbecue jerk chicken. Oven baked barbecue jerk chicken. Now, I'm going to talk about with chicken first, right? Now here I have some chicken drumsticks, okay? Now these drumsticks were washed nice and clean with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar, white vinegar. I use this one right here to wash it down. Now when I washed it, I let it sit in the salt, lemon juice, and vinegar water, wa um, cold water that is, for maybe about 30 minutes. 30 minutes you'll notice the ch this chicken skin the difference in the chicken skin is going to come really white and so will the meat nice clear and white and pretty see that mm-hmm salt lemon juice and vinegar will do that for your chicken now another thing that you need to notice when you're making jerk chicken such as this one you want to go ahead and insert slits into the chicken Thighs, whatever you decide to use to make a jerk, right? Besides wings, you don't want to cut up, cut up your wings. But if you're doing chicken breast, legs and thighs, such as this one, you want to go ahead and put slits in the chicken, okay? Now, another thing that you need to notice is that I did keep on the chicken skin on it. Now, you want to keep your chicken skin on simply because the chicken skin is going to generate a lot of moisture inside of your chicken such as right here right so you don't want to remove that chicken skin off your chicken right um it's so, especially if you're going to put it on the grill it will become very dry dry and trashy and burn up burn up if you put it this leave the skin on and it really traps in the moisture and it gives the, the chicken a nice flavor from the fat of the chicken skin all right we get the part there now I'm going to just show you some of the ingredients, well not some, all the ingredients that I'm going to be using today to make this chicken, right? Chicken, bar barbecue jerk chicken. Now over here we have some parsley. Now this parsley is totally optional, totally optional, all right? But I'm going to put just about, maybe about a teaspoon of parsley on it. Simply because when it baked, it's going to have like a green effect to it. Mm-hmm. Now, what I'm going to use here is my jerk season here, okay? This is mild jerk season, no MSG, right? That's all, right? Um, I have never used this brand until now, but I must say I did try to make some jerk fish the other day, and it came out pretty good. Um, it's called Royal Montego. Ma Royal Montego. This is my first time buying their product. I found it in the farmer's market here in Atlanta right um and it's pretty good so we're going to use this now if you don't want to go the butter one like when i say an authentic that an authentic but if you don't make it one jerk season and authentic listen to me i'm not a time to put that in the thing right now okay because we're going to do this fast easy and simple grab yourself some uh jerk powder mix or some bottle one i'll call it a d a y okay now i'm going to be using this one i do have a recipe though to show you how to make your jerk seasoning from scratch all right so maybe me insert that depends on how i feel now we're gonna need some salt here and black pepper now to the recipe you want to add some garlic you could use fresh garlic um and you could go with this one just as well um this is a minced garlic in water i like to buy the one in the vinegar but i never have that i just got the one in water okay now we're going to add some all purpose seasoning and because you don't know how I feel about my orchard yes, that's why I'm having but you can substitute that out we have some pepper here we're going to add that to the recipe um a little bit I'm not like pepper 
and we're going to add some combo season because I'm obsessed with that um, this could be used uh, this would be substitute out for all-purpose seasoning okay even though I'm gonna use all-purpose seasoning I become an extra now we're going to add some chicken season because we are making chicken right so we're going to make um, add some chicken seasoning to it and then we're going to add some um, pimento seeds um, some want to call it allspice but in Jamaica pimento seed will say right now we're going to add some thyme here you could use the fresh thyme this is the dried one in the bottle okay and we're going to add just a little bit of that to it and then to color it up we're going to add some brown in here this is a grace one for color and of course you could also make your browning from scratch right but we're going to add that because everything fast easy and simple now in addition to that we need some onion powder here garlic powder and then we're going to add some ground ginger now you could add a fresh ginger if you'd like what the ginger does it balances out people who are bad belly like me all right because not everybody can tolerate this jerk season sauce okay so we're going to add some ginger not just to balance out the belly but it also give it a lot of flavor here now this is paprika um, and sometimes it's totally optional to put paprika on your jerk because um, you are going to be adding the brown in here and it does give it a lot of color um, to it but just for old times sake we are going to add some paprika to it now of course you know I'm gonna put nothing without vinegar this is white vinegar we're gonna add that you could add apple cider vinegar or whatever kind of vinegar that you want to add now this is also our barbecue sauce here of choice this is the Icarus smoke barbecue sauce this one could be substituted out you know I have to use this right this is also because I have that at hand now if you don't want to use the barbecue sauce on the chicken when you season it you could add um, barbecue seasoning they have a lot of them in the store but I don't want to do that I'm gonna add some smoke hickory smoked barbecue sauce here and again that is totally optional optional now one thing that I never leave out when I'm doing um, what a jerk just like this one I always want to add some brown sugar to it this is brown cane sugar organic cane sugar and this is exactly two tablespoons of brown cane sugar okay so that is it right there we are going to go ahead and season up this bad boy we're going to put it in the oven and we are going to bake this thing up nice and proper so I'm going to get started All right, goody. so the first thing that I always like to do before I do just about anything um, I like to go ahead and just add the vinegar in I'm going to put any seasons on it I just like to add the vinegar right the vinegar really does something nice to the chicken then we just go ahead and just kind of get that vinegar all kind of rubbed in just a little bit um, so we could go right through those slits of the chicken yeah just like so right, so I'm go ahead and just wash my hands off all right, so the next thing that I am going to do here is add the salt, right? So we go ahead and add the salt in. That's pretty good. I don't want to over salt it. And then we'll add some black pepper. You don't want to put too much salt in there because believe me, all those other spices that you put in there it does have salt to it now we're going to add some of the all-purpose seasoning pretty much like that and then up next we'll add the combo seasoning only because i love it but like i said you could always use all-purpose seasoning and skip this one if you have it no problem um, we're going to add some chicken seasoning and again because we're making chicken We'll add the chicken seasoning and I'm using the Ocherius brand and you know I have to use that other time I'm obsessed with them stuff. And then we're gonna add maybe about a teaspoon of pimento seed. I'm gonna stuff these seeds inside of the slits, inside of the slits, okay? Um, we're gonna add some thyme. You could use a fresh one, it just happened for half this. I have the fresh one too, but because I'm putting this in the oven. I'm just going to go ahead and, and use this one. If you have part of time, you could also use that as well. It doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? All right. 
Up next, we're going to add in the onion powder. Here, like so. This is some banana meat, not right? And now we're going to add some garlic powder to it. I'm going to make sure some all this good because what do you mean I cook some food? And this part came right off, goody. This part come right off in the food. Let's just say about a good seven tablespoons of onion powder that dropped down in my mouth. I had to, listen, it was a disaster, okay? All right, so now this is the ground ginger. So we're gonna add the ginger to it. That give me trouble to come out, so. Let's so we'll use this question and just add that. Probably one teaspoon of ginger powder. I love ginger powder on my jerk. It tastes really good. All right, so now I'm adding some paprika. It's gonna give it some color for sure. So you could add um, chili powder to it. Um, it comes out really nice, but the chili powder does give it a, a little tangy taste, like peppery. So just be simple and not too generous with the chili powder if you're gonna put it on there. Now we're gonna add the two tablespoons of organic brown cane sugar and then we're gonna add just a little bit of this um, barbecue sauce now the barbecue sauce I'm going to make a separate one uh, to, to base the chicken with and you'll see that later but as you can see I didn't add too much to it now the last thing that I'm going to do here I'm gonna go in and just give this a little jazz with some oil what this does is have the chicken skin nice Give it a nice little crisp when you bake it especially if you're going to do it in the oven you may want to do this okay you don't necessarily have to do it if you put it on the grill believe me um, but if you're going to do it in the oven you could go ahead and do this method now all you got to do here did we add the garlic i don't think we had the garlic let's go ahead and add the garlic y'all and if me did add garlic already, oh well. But I don't think I add that yet. All right, so now we're going to add, um, oh gosh. Now we're going to add some of the parsley. Because I did say the parsley does something extra to it. Did I, right? Um, and we're going to add our jerk seasoning as well. Maybe about this much, or oh, a little bit more. Yeah. Um. And I will list list one. I've got so many of these recipes, but I will list um, the ingredients some way, shape, or form. Okay. All right. So now pepper is here. Um. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of cut up my pepper just to tap it. Um. But I'm not going to. Put the seeds in because we don't need no surprises up in here um, I'm not even going to use all this pepper y'all I'm just going to use some of it and leave the other piece for something different that's all because honey I'm not taking no chances my husband love pepper um, baby girl does not love it but that's about it y'all so now I'm gonna go in and just rub in this thing here I'm going to rub it in and then I'm going to put the brown in for the color, the coloring. But I always like to kind of rub it in first and then add the brown in later. Alright, so I rubbed it in, I wash my hand off and then add the brown in. All right, now, so now we're gonna add the brown in. This is the magic of the recipe. And again, um, you could always um, make yours from scratch, okay? So I did have maybe about a teaspoon. It depends on how much you're cooking, but I'll say maybe a teaspoon, no, no more than a tablespoon, okay? Um, and that's all it takes. So now we go back in and we rub this, this brown in into the meat. And now is the part where I'm going to go ahead. And those slits that we made earlier, 
I'm going to get the seasoning and push it into the slits of the chicken. Like so. Just like that. Just push it down inside of it. So that way the chicken will have flavor. Flavor. Okay. Looks pretty much like so. Let's rub some back. Just want to make sure that you get the the seasoning inside of those slits that you made. Okay, just, just take your finger and just push right inside of it and get the, the seasoning in there. That's something magical every time, y'all. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow this chicken to sit and marinate um, for maybe about an hour, okay? Um, and then put it in the oven. Now be sure that when you're putting this chicken in the oven though, you want to put it into a preheated oven. Do not put your chicken in an oven that is cold, okay? Once you put this chicken in the oven, the chicken should start to cook immediately. And not sit and wait, okay? Because them chicken ties and a weight for nobody. So just go ahead and make sure that your oven is nice and hot, okay? We're gonna turn this oven on a 375 degree of heat, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up with some plastic wrap. And just let it chill out for about an hour. Now you can always season your chicken, y'all. You know, I do like what me doing all with them. Oh, I know you can do this bad boy overnight. And hold this top so you could do this overnight and let it um just put it in your refrigerator, okay? And let it marinate overnight. Now, before you put it in the oven, if that is your choice that you want to do, let it marinate from overnight to be sure that you take it out of the oven. Sorry, <laughs> be sure to take it out of your refrigerator, right? And let it sit at room temperature for at least another hour before you put it into the oven. You do not want to put this thing in the oven when the chicken is freezing cold, okay? Just let it sit for about a good half, about a good hour, and then you get it set up for the oven, okay? All right, so let's come back and finish up this thing. All right, goodness, so we are going to get this oven ready. We're gonna put this at a 375 degree in heat, all right? And when your oven is ready at 375 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and put these bad boys in the oven. Okay, goodness, so now that my chicken is all set to go, and it's been marinating for an hour, my oven's already set. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing all prepped. For the oven, right? Um, and remember, this is going uh, in oven. Like I said before, if you are planning on putting it on the grill, you might want to skip the step where you add the oil to it because it might make it um burn, okay, very quickly. So just do that method only if you are putting it in the oven. Now, these, this marinade here, we're not going to let that waste, for sure. So all we're doing here is just drizzling it on the chicken. It smells so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. Get it on the chicken skin, for sure. Okay, because it's gonna do something magical to the chicken skin. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, so that is done. We're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and pop this in the oven. Okay, goodies, so we are about to make the sauce for the chicken. Now, this sauce is not only just going to use for base the chicken, but I'm also going to be using the sauce to 
um, put it to the gravy for the rice and peas, right? So it's going to use for two things with simple ingredients that you might have around your house already um, for sure, okay? I'm not going to put this on stove top. You could put it on stove top if you want, but I'm going to show you how I get it done in the microwave in less than a minute, okay? All right, so the very first thing that I want to do is add some uh, sweet chili sauce here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I'm not measuring anything, as you can see, but I'm going to go ahead and pour in because, again, I'm using this to serve as a two things, okay? Now we want to add some ketchup to it. Now, for those of you that say you don't like ketchup, you could add tomato paste to it, okay? Just a little bit, not a lot. And then we're going to add some barbecue sauce. We have to add the barbecue sauce to the recipe. Now, if we never did that barbecue jerk chicken, then we never have to add this. Just add the ketchup or the tomato paste, and you're good to go. But I'm doing this as a base for the barbecue jerk, okay? So I'm going to add pretty much a lot of that, and I'm going to be pretty generous with the barbecue sauce, right? So we add that. And then to that, we're going to add some vinegar because the vinegar is going to give it flavor. If you don't want to use white plain distilled vinegar, you could add apple cider or any kind of other vinegar that you have around your kitchen. Will work. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is add some garlic. Because garlic makes everything taste better, I'm going to use the chopped one here. Um, this is in water. Of course, you could use fresh garlic, all right? Just mince it up really nice and add it in maybe about a teaspoon of that okay a teaspoon will work now up next we are going to add some dried parsley and of course you could have fresh one if you have fresh one use that but i'm going to add dried today maybe about a tablespoon of the dried parsley flakes yeah and and next we'll add some um oil here i'm using sesame seed oil you could use any other oil of your choice will work okay just been using a lot of sesame seed oil lately don't ask me why all right now we're going to give it a nice little spin here it's going to look pretty much like that all right and then here i'm just going to add a little bit of water to thin it out and here you could add butter if you'd like a little bit of butter um, but I'm not going to add any butter. The only thing I'm going to add is just the sesame seed oil. And again, you could substitute this out. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it for sure. But I just want to be sure that the oil does what it needs to do as far as the thickening part of this sauce is concerned. So now we add some water to it to, thick, to thin it out a little bit. Now you could also add dried pepper flakes. If you want a little bit tangy, you could add that, okay? To give it a little bit more flavor, I'm going to add some all-purpose season to it. Maybe a teaspoon of that. And I'm using the Ocherius brand here. Use whatever that you like in your kitchen that will work. So, okay, so this is it. I'm going to pop this in the microwave um, and let it do what it has to do. Probably give it like a minute and a half. Um, it, it's going to get thicker for sure. Um, but yeah, that's it. Very simple, y'all. Very simple. Like I said, you you don't have to be afraid to go in with the oil. See, the oil doesn't do anything to it. Okay, just go ahead and add the oil if you feel like it's too thick. Just add oil. Okay, that's it. I'm using sesame seed oil, y'all, and that's it. it. Looks really good. Pretty good. Nice and thick. All right, so I'm going to pop this in the microwave. I'm going to use this as a base for the chicken, like I said before. And then I'm going to also use it as the gravy. Okay, nice little piece. That's it. Gravy. So, here is the chicken, y'all. Here is the chicken. Nice. It looks amazing, y'all. Let me turn it properly so you guys could see how good that looks. So we're going to go ahead and baste that chicken up and we're going to pop it back in the oven. Now we're going to reduce the heat on the oven 
and put it at um, 325 degrees you're gonna allow it to cook again for maybe another I say 20 minutes 15 20 minutes at um, 325 degrees all right so we started off at 375 just going to go ahead and reduce that and just let the oven do what it has to do and get the sauce up in there now we have some gravy down here that's all the good chicken the good, the good juices from the chicken right I'm not going to let that go to waste what I'm going to do with it I'm going to pour it out in that gravy the gravy that we made this one that I'm using as a base I'm going to pour it out inside of this gravy and let me tell you something it's going to give it an additional flavor when I kid you not listen let me tell us a nice nice it make it up a tink double twice double twice and when I tell you better than the oven better than the um the grill amazing better than the grill right now it's a kind of weather that's outside where you just don't want to go out there and do anything on the grill this is the perfect the perfect remedy to have the most perfect and tasty and delicious jerk barbecue chicken in the oven okay in the oven y'all perfect and like I said before all that good juices that you see there we're not going to waste it we're going to go ahead and pour it out in this container and use this as our sauce or gravy for our rice and peas so yeah put that back in the oven for about 15 20 minutes reduce the heat and then we are ready to go ready to serve okay so today we are cooking up some cold peas rice and peas with this i have a cold peas recipe on the channel already so i didn't want to go in and do another one of that but the writer saw a cold peas we're going to eat up with this rice and peas i will definitely list a rice and peas recipe down in the description for you to follow and get it right or for do it right the first time all right i got you boo i got you now we are also going to be making some plantains today with the recipe but i'm not going to do ripe plantains i'm doing green plantains all you have to do is slice up the plant in them um fry them don't fry them for too long maybe about two minutes then you take them out of the oil put them on a flat surface Sprinkle some salt on it first, just a little bit as needed. Then I'm using a rolling pin to help me to smooth it out really, really nice. Press it gently on both sides, just like I'm doing here. This is so authentic, y'all. I remember growing up as a kid in Jamaica, my mother used to do, that, do this almost every Sunday morning. Nice with um, Akian Selfish, nice with Kalalo, nice with just about anything in the kitchen. I'll read her into mm -hmm. We did love it when I grew up. So that was my love this too. So we're going to have this for dinner as well. After you press it out like that, you go ahead and fry it again for another like two minutes at the most until it becomes really nice and crispy, just like that. And golden brown, yum, yum, yum. Fried plantain, green fried plantain in the kitchen every time straight. Now we're also going to be doing some fresh vegetables here so i have some ramen lettuce um ramen lettuce is my favorite lettuce ever slice it up nice and thin throw it on in a container and also have some really sweet baby um tomatoes oh my goodness these are organic from florida thank you sis for the tomatoes i love it and so we're just going to slice it up real nice again and just throw it in with the lettuce and i'm i love cranberry i don't know about you guys if you don't like cranberry in a on a, on a on a salad let me know if you don't like cranberry but i love dried cranberry and these start tell you um little something is like you use it in a taco yeah i love it you could find this in any supermarket but guess where i find mine in the dollar tree y'all for a dollar 25 I always like to sprinkle that all over my salad. It's just nice and crunchy and crispy. And I just like to add little things here and there. Um, this one, I think this is a simple little salad dressing, whatever. Just throw that in there too. 
and i love i love um bacon bits okay don't let's i love bacon bits the optional right but i love bacon bits my husband love it too um and when i eat my salad i do like to put a little bit of cheese on it okay a little bit of cheese here and there you know what i'm saying but that is it that is going to be the side dish for the recipe and here is our chicken y'all the chicken is all done um it takes about 45 minutes to 50 minutes of baking time but look at all the skin nice and pretty oh my gosh let me tell you something when i tell you nice and golden brown this thing came out even better in the oven if you do it right the first time yes better that's part of the the, the the process and let me tell you something you will not even know you're going to fool everybody especially thanksgiving is coming up and it's cold outside and you don't want to go up on the grill for go put anything out there do this goodie the thing nice 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 and let me show you how the inside look no look at the chicken nice right the skin is perfect this that chicken skin it goes right into the chicken it's like it just melts into the chicken and when you open up that chicken oh my goodness all that seasoning look how the thing just go just fall right in the middle of the meat that is because while you was marinating the chicken when you did that season up the chicken or they push the seasoning down into the meat before on a cover it up for marinade goody yes that's why the chicken look like that season all the way through and look how the chicken look nice and moist and pretty lord look at the season see the season on the middle and that me i talk about right they saw the seasoning all up in that the meat the something smells so good juicy nice and tender and full with flavor now Talk about my microwave gravy. Ha <laughs> ha. The thing stand up real good. It was busting to the floor and up to the sky. Let me tell you something. You have to try the recipe, you know? Try this recipe. I, let me tell you something. You will not regret it. You're not going to regret it. Just be sure that you're spreading this good love with all the friends and family. Give the video a thumbs up. Bring them, come and send them, come and wait it. When you get done doing that, Tell me where you want to see me a cook next to my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy!